Hello! Thank you for joining us in our video installing and configuring DeviceWise. This entire process will take less than 15 minutes. To use DeviceWise, you will need to obtain the DeviceWise Runtime, the DeviceWise Workbench, and some DeviceWise packages. Packages implement drivers for devices such as PLCs, Torque Tools, and software extensions for services such as Siemens MindSphere, IBM Watson, and Microsoft Azure. You can download all these files from the Tele-IoT portal. Start by logging into the Tele-IoT portal. If you do not know how to access the Tele-IoT portal, reach out to a Tele representative for a quick tutorial or watch our previous video, Getting Started with DeviceWise, on our YouTube channel. For the purpose of this video, we have already downloaded all the files onto this computer which we will be using in this demonstration. We will be running DeviceWise on a Windows PC. We can also run on a Linux 32 or 64-bit devices such as a Raspberry Pi in the Rockwell Compute Module, IBM P-Series, and selected Cisco switches and routers. First, install the DeviceWise Runtime, also referred to as the DeviceWise Enterprise Gateway. Accept all the settings. Second, install the DeviceWise Workbench and accepts all the default settings. The DeviceWise Runtime runs in the background of your system. Now that you have installed the DeviceWise Runtime in the DeviceWise Workbench, you can open up the application. Scan for your DeviceWise instance in order to install the DeviceWise packages and add a DeviceWise license. To install a package, go to the Administration section under your DeviceWise instance and select the Packages tab. Click on the Add button and select one of the downloaded packages. Once you have added a package to DeviceWise, the runtime will restart. We went ahead and added driver packages for Beckhoff, Atlas, GE Fanuc, Fanuc CNC, Rockwell, Mitsubishi, Omron, and OPC UA. DeviceWise has an extensive list of drivers that are not all listed here. Some of those include Modbus, MQTT, and MT Connect, just to name a few. We will now add a DeviceWise license by going into the Administration section under your DeviceWise instance and select the Licenses tab. You will need a valid license before using any devices or extensions. Click on the Import button and then select the provided license. If you do not have a DeviceWise license, contact a Tele representative. At this point, the installation is complete, the runtime is installed and running, drivers have been added, and the system is licensed. The estimated time to install should be around 10 minutes. Our next step is to define some devices to illustrate how easy it is to connect to different industrial devices at the same time using DeviceWise, such as PLCs or Torque tools. We will start by adding a Fanuc CNC. All you need to know is the model and the IP address. Go to the Devices section under your DeviceWise instance. Click on the New button. Pick the type, in this case, the Fanuc CNC 32i. Give it a name and enter the IP address of your Fanuc CNC. Save the device instance and start it. When the device starts successfully, we will take a quick view at the CNC variables. We will also read a few variables.
let's add another device. This time we will add a Rockwell Control Logics PLC. Back under the Devices section, click on the New button, pick the type, in this case, we'll pick the Rockwell Control Logics, give it a name, and enter the IP address of your Rockwell Control Logics PLC. Save the device instance and start it. When the device starts successfully, we will take a quick view at the PLC variables. Let's add another device. This time we will add a Siemens S7-1500 but this time we will use our UA client driver. Under the Devices section, select New, pick the type OPC UA Client, give it a name, provide the URL, and once you've done that, you can save and start. When the device starts successfully, we will take a quick view of the PLC variables and read some. We went ahead and added a few other devices from Mitsubishi, Omron, and Atlas. The total time to add all these devices should take around 5 minutes. At this point, the DeviceWise is ready to deliver value. We have business flow logic developed to interact between devices in the OT space and the business systems in the IT space. We will cover this topic in our next video. Overall, the complete process for installing and configuring DeviceWise and adding devices should take less than 15 minutes total. Thank you for joining us in our video installing and configuring DeviceWise. If you have any additional questions, please contact us through our DeviceWise for Factory webpage at telit.com.